Space Hunter – Adventures in the Forbidden Zone is a 1983 American space western film. The film stars Peter Strauss, Molly Ringwald, Ernie Hudson, Andrea Markovici and Michael Ironside. The film's executive producer was Ivan Reitman, and it was directed by Lamont Johnson. The film has an adventurous music score composed by Elmer Bernstein. When the film was originally released in theaters it was shown in a polarized, over, under 3D format. The film became part of the 3D film revival craze of the early 1980s, being widely released after Coming at Yaw. 1981. The film is about a bounty hunter who goes on a mission to rescue three women stranded on a brutal planet and meets a vagrant teenage girl along the way. Topic. Plot Set in the early 22nd century, the film opens with the destruction of a space cruise liner by a bolt of nebular lightning. The only apparent survivors are three beautiful women, Nova, Rena, and Megan, who get away in an escape pod and land on the nearest habitable planet. There, they are quickly accosted by the hostile natives and taken aboard a sail-driven vehicle resembling a pirate ship on rails. In space, an alert goes out for the safe return of the women with a reward of 3,000 mega credits. A small-time salvage operator named Wolf intercepts the message and heads to the planet. Joining him as his female engineer Chalmers, who learns the planet, called Terra-11, is a failed colony that fell victim to a deadly plague and civil warfare. Wolf risks the dangers believing the reward will solve his debt problems. After landing on the barren world, Wolf and Chalmers set out in a four-wheel drive vehicle called the Scrambler. Soon, they join a battle in progress between a group of marauders called the Zoners and a band of nomads, the Scavs. The Zoners take the women before Wolf can stop them and fly away on jet-powered hang gliders. Wolf learns from the Scavs that the women were taken into the Zone, which is ruled by Overdog, their sworn enemy. Returning to the Scrambler, Wolf finds Chalmers, who is really a gynoid, has been killed. Wolf continues on alone, but soon catches a teenage scav named Nikki trying to steal his scrambler. She convinces Wolf that he needs a tracker if he is to survive the zone and Wolf reluctantly takes her lead. In the meantime, the three women are taken before the chemist, the chief henchman of Overdog, a hideous cyborg with giant metal claws for hands, who administers pacifying drugs to the girls and prepares them for Overdog's pleasure. Elsewhere, Wolf and Nikki make camp, but soon come under attack by a strange plow-like vehicle. Wolf manages to disable the machine and learns the driver is a former military acquaintance of his, a soldier named Washington, who reveals he too has come to rescue the women. His only problem is that he crashed his ship and has no way off-world. Wolf refuses to help his rival and leaves him to fend for himself. Still led by Nikki, Wolf gets into more predicaments, from being attacked by mutated humanoids, to strange Amazon-like women and a water dragon, which the Amazon-like women fear. He even loses his trusty scrambler and is forced to continue on foot. Eventually, they are found by Washington, and Wolf finds the situation reversed as he now begs his rival for help. They agree to a 50-50 split of the reward. Wolf and Washington team up and sneak into Overdog's fortress where they find the zoners entertained by captured prisoners forced to run through a deadly maze of lethal obstacles, hazards and traps. Wolf spots the women being held in a cage and forms a rescue plan, but a bored Nikki who was left out of the rescue for her safety decides to snoop around. She is captured and sent into the maze. Wolf spots Nikki in the maze and tries to rescue her, but she uses her prowess to reach the end where Overdog congratulates her and drags her back to his lair. There, she is hooked to a machine that slowly drains her life energy. The energy in turn recharges Overdog. Wolf comes to the rescue and jabs a sparking power cable into one of Overdog's claws. The power feedback fries Overdog and thus causes cascading blowouts throughout the entire fortress. 
As the fortress explodes around them, Wolfe and Nicky run for cover and are rescued by the timely arrival of Washington, who is driving the plow machine with Nova, Rena and Megan driving another commandeered vehicle. They all race out of the fortress in the nick of time as it explodes behind them. As the complex explodes, the three heroes, and the three rescued women, manage to get away. In the ending, Wolf invites Nikki to stay with him and she agrees since they made good partners. Topic. Main cast Peter Strauss as Wolf Molly Ringwald as Nikki Ernie Hudson as Washington Michael Ironside as Overdog Andrea Markovici as Chalmers Callie Timmons as Nova Elisa Shirley as Rena Deborah Pratt as Megan Perant Alionic as the chemist Topic. Production Parts of the film were shot in Cane Creek, Bull Canyon, Colorado River, Potash, Lower Schaefer Trail, Potash Settling Ponds, Gray Hills, U.S. Highway 91, and the area south of Canyonlands Airport. Topic. Release The film's advertising emphasized the 3D aspects. Columbia released Space Hunter on May 20, 1983, time to be a week before Return of the Jedi. It grossed $16.5 million at the United States box office. Topic reception Variety called it a muddled science fiction tale whose editing prevents audiences from enjoying the well-shot action scenes. Janet Maslin of the New York Times wrote that the film does more with its 3D than its contemporaries but is too crowded with derivative ideas to be memorable. However, Paul Mavis, reviewing the 2017 Blu-ray release for Movies and Drinks, wrote, with an incident-busy script, something is going on all the time. The action is tolerable low-grade road warrior approximation, dot the set pieces are reasonably imaginative, and a lot of weirdo stuff is crammed into the fast run time. Rotten Tomatoes gives the film an approval rating of 18% and average rating of 3.2.10 based on 11 reviews. C.J. Henderson reviewed Space Hunter in Space Gamer No. 65. Henderson commented that, watch for this one when it is finally released to cable, or to the video stores. This is one of those movies one gets more from in the living room than in the theater. Topic. See also List of American films of 1983 List of 3D films